I am here on a work visa. <laughs> I promise I'm not getting emotional. Oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be, life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights out Die with my own doubts Be free with me Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I am back with a vlog today and today's video is coming to you from the USA which is very exciting. I have just got here, I got here last night actually, and the clips you've just seen were my travels. So I flew from Heathrow um, yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday morning I flew from Heathrow. I left home at, I think it was just after 7 a.m., no, 7.45, got to the airport, flew out just after midday, and flew to Chicago, had a really nice flight. The flight was relatively quiet because they haven't fully opened up travels to the US, I think that's, opening up fully in November. I think it's November the 8th, if I remember correctly. So yeah, the flight was still quite quiet. It was probably, I would say, yeah, less than 50% full. So I had a row to myself, which was lovely. And yeah, just really enjoyed being on an aeroplane again. It's been such a long time since I've flown anywhere. I think the last time that I flew somewhere was in February 20. 20 i think my memory's terrible at the moment is anyone else like that i feel like yeah everything kind of the last two years are a bit of a blur but yeah i think that was the last time that i flew so i was absolutely buzzing to be back on an airplane just to take off and to be up above the clouds all that stuff was so exciting and yeah, everything's exciting by the way. I've got so much to tell you. <laughs> I'm so excited to be here. I can't believe I'm actually here. Loads to share with you and some things I can't share with you just yet. But what I could tell you is that I am here on a work visa. And I can tell you that I'm here on a project that anyone watching me in the US is going to be very excited about. And hopefully I will be able to share more about what I'm up to here. Oh, my voice. <laughs> I promise I'm not getting emotional. Hopefully I'll be able to share more with you very soon. It won't be too long, so I do apologize that I can't share everything that I'm doing, but I'll get into trouble. So there we are. Um, but yeah, very excited to be here. I'm actually in Franklin. So after landing in Chicago, I went on another flight, a little aeroplane, from Chicago to Nashville. And then from Nashville, I've just traveled over to Franklin, which is about a 20 minute drive. Lovely chap picked me up at the airport in the biggest car. <laughs> well, it's like a truck, basically. When I got out, oh my goodness, this is so embarrassing. I don't think I realized like how tall it was and I nearly twisted my ankle because the height of it, like if you're in the UK, I haven't seen a vehicle like this before. It was so big and so wide, the gap between the two front seats was like this big. There was like a whole area where you could put things. I loved it. <laughs> and yeah, it's just so exciting and going on, do you call it the freeway? Everything here is such a novelty to me. Everything is bigger. When I was looking out the window on the aeroplane, and I saw all the straight line roads, which obviously I've been to New York before, but I've never been anywhere else in America 
I was just so excited and I was looking down and seeing all the houses lined up in those kind of classic streets that you see in movies. Oh my goodness, so exciting. So yeah, I landed um, last night or last yesterday evening at around, I think it was 6.30 p.m., got to the hotel around seven, unpacked, because you know I'm an unpacker, I like to get everything sorted. And then I went to bed last night around 9 p.m. and I woke up this morning. I think I was up at like 6 a.m. and yeah, feel all right actually. I feel a little bit like slightly spaced out, but all good. I've just been down to the lobby. I had to have a COVID test. Um, that's all done and dusted. Um, met some of the team that I'm working with. And yeah, I'm all checked in. So, all unpacked. It is a beautiful day here, by the way. That's the other thing. I forgot that the weather was going to be so nice. So it's a beautiful sunny day out there. And it's in kind of, I think it's like the mid twenties or I'm not sure the other one, but yeah, um, really nice. It feels like a really lovely warm day outside and nearby I've just heard that there's a Walmart <laughs> which I'm so excited about so I'm gonna head there in a minute and I thought we'd go and have a little look around and then I think I've got a really well I know I've got a really busy week ahead but I've got a day free on the day before I fly back so I thought on that day we might pop into Nashville or we might see if we can find some thrift shops or I might see if I can find a Dollar Tree I don't know We'll just have a very nice time. So, um, shall I show you around the apartment where I'm staying quickly? And then I thought we'll head out and pop to Walmart. And I've got a bit of work to do, but um, yeah, I'm just getting myself sorted today before everything gets busy tomorrow. But yeah, let me show you around. So I'm in a little, it's kind of like an apartment. It's, it's within a hotel. We have a desk area here, which is fab and I'm really looking forward to sitting here later. I've got a few bits of work to do, which I just want to get kind of ticked off before I get started with stuff. And this in here, I got from, oh, that's, <laughs> I didn't eat my banana yesterday. I just um, had all the aeroplane food instead. But in here, these were at the lounge and these are pumpkin blondies. And so I put some in a pot and took them with me because they are delightful. I'll probably have one of those later. And then, yeah, I've just been unpacking, got everything sorted. So we have this desk area here. I'm just doing some charging of my um, clippers and that sort of thing. And then we have a bit of a kitchen, which is really handy. So I would actually be able to cook in here. That's if I can work it. <laughs> There's a dishwasher. So really handy. And then over here we have the bed, really nice big comfy bed. I slept very well last night. The pillows are really nice. I think it's feather. Um, the duvet in here, yeah, it is some feather pillows, I think. Lovely. And then the TV, this is exciting. This um, spins around, so you've got kind of a little lounge area here which has got my coffee on it, which I just popped behind me just now. And this spins around. So yesterday, when I got here, I put the telly on, and then when I went to bed, I whipped it round, and I was watching some great TV, American TV really excites me. I've got my jackets and shirts all hung up and there's space in here for a suitcase. I've popped all that away. There's a big safe as well, which I love. So laptop is nice and secure. I've got this other suitcase here. This one was so handy on the flight because so this suitcase has the little charger in here, which is so handy. Some really big drawers in here, which I love to see. So I've got everything unpacked organized because i'm here for five days five days work and then i've got um, another day so yeah i think it's about seven days in total and then the bathroom is lovely and big just pop the light on and spacious nice sink area and yeah nice big shower too so this is lovely tiles are kind of similar to the ones that we went for in the loft i noticed that they have the same tile skirting, so that seems to be quite a common thing in bathrooms now. I have noticed since I've started to pay more attention to them. And then, yeah, got my shoes down there. There's a gym at the hotel too, and there's also a heated pool, which I had a little look at last night. I actually went down to the pool to fill up my water bottle because I didn't know what the situation was with tap water here, and I didn't have any water 
like just you know still water drinking water whatever you want to call it so i went down to the pool to fill it up at the water fountain down there um yeah anyway enough chat about water <laughs> should we go out and have a little look around beautiful day here this is the view out of the window i've made it out i <laughs> just figuring out how to cross the road walmart's over there look at this road it's so big yeah, I think there's a crossing down that way because otherwise I'll be having to get an Uber just to get over there. Lovely day. The sun feels so nice. It's kind of just that nice warm feel it's scorching on the back of my neck. I love it. Gosh, it's been a while since I felt this kind of weather. It's a different kind of heat to um, in the UK summer, you know, so it's that kind of a broad feeling of sunshine, which is lovely. It's been a while since I felt that. Okay, this is helpful. <laughs> I'm paying attention. Gonna get run over before I start. Well, we've made it across the road, so <laughs> tick that one off. And now we're just heading round into this. It looks like, yeah, there's a few bits here. I'm not sure what exactly, but yeah, we'll pop into Walmart and have a little browse. I don't know what they're like with people vlogging in stores in the US, so I shall be very discreet and see what the vibe is. But yeah, we'll have a little look. Look at this guy. Wow, it's a big one. Just seen a massive bee as well. Everything here is bigger. <laughs> Look at these. Nice to see a bit of wildlife. Oh, wow. This is the biggest supermarket I have ever been in. I cannot even see where it stops. This is just like a tiny section of it. Oh my god, look at the TVs down there. They're miles away. Wow, look at these. Look at the Halloween installations. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so excited. I can't cope. We've got the greetings cards. Oh wow. What are these things? That's cool. Pop up cards. Look how far it goes down this way. This is crazy. Okay, so they actually have everything in this shop, I'm realizing. It reminds me a little bit of Asda back home, I suppose. Oh yeah, they have George here, so I think, I think it is the same. Just a lot bigger. Look at the ceiling. Crikey. Oh, where am I going now? I'm just eyeing up the ice cream section. Moose tracks, butter pecan, caramel pie. Oh wow, they've got all of these flavors that I've never tried before. Peppermint, that looks very festive, doesn't it? Oh my goodness, this whole section is ice cream. Right the way down there, right the way across. What? Wow, that is nuts. That yeah, that was all ice cream, just that row. <laughs> Put all the Halloween bits out in the bakery. Sugar cookies. Oh wow. these cakes. I love how they do Halloween here. This is all so fun. Look at this one. That is brilliant. I feel like we need to up the game in the UK. <laughs> this is something else. Oh wow, look at these. I do these squashes. Imagine for decorating with. Well, you could eat them, I expect. Okay, I've come to the far side of the store, which felt like about a mile long walk. You'll certainly get your step count in if you do your shopping here. Wow, I did not know there would be so much choice. I mean, I knew that it would be bigger here, but this is something else. I'm in the Christmas section. I'm looking at all these roofs. I'm going to spin you around so you can see them. But they've got some really cool options here. Look at this. So nice. Wow. 
size of these gift bows. <laughs> Love it. And all the way around the top, they've got all of the outdoor ornaments or decorations, the inflatable ones. Reminds me of Christmas with the cranks. <laughs> Where's the um, frosty snowman? That's what I want to know. Got Santa up there. It's a cool tree, a snowman tree. I've never seen one of those before. Got all the cute little ornaments. I could spend hours in this shop. Literally hours. Oh, that's a good idea for a DIY. It's like a bottle. What do you call that? Yeah, bottle shape. Water lantern. Oh, wow. That's nice. I'm loving being in here because finally, if anything, that I spy any of you in the US that are watching, hopefully, we'll be able to pick it up too. This is nice. I've not seen that before. These wooden garlands and then these felt ones too. They're really cool. Then we've got this pampas style tree. Not seen those before. Could make for a fun DIY. Just found the craft section. Got some nice bits in here. They're cool. You can DIY your own signs. So cool. Okay, note to self, if I need to get any more groceries, schedule in a good hour or two because it's way too distracting just to pop in. It's not like popping down to the local co-op. And I'm gonna head back to the hotel now and make a little bit of lunch and crack on with some work. So across there is the hotel where I'm staying. Ooh. Right, let's get this shopping unpacked. So, I think that was probably one of the favourite things I've ever done in my entire life. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed that. I could have spent hours in there, honestly. There was so much to look at. The crafts, the decorations, the homeware, the cleaning supplies, the wreath making kits, the everything. The food, the pumpkins, the cakes, the ice cream section. I could continue, but we'll get this unpacked and I'm going to make a bite to eat. Got some bagels. These ones say they have protein in it, which sounds good. 13 grams of protein and 26 whole grains. Got some Diet Cokes to put in the fridge, just the mini cans. I got some shampoo. I forgot to bring any with me. I got some cream cheese to have with the bagels. And I got some random sticks they're kind of like smoked snack sticks so i thought i would try those i was intrigued i haven't managed to get any water <laughs> couldn't see any in there but anyway i've got some nuts i've got some walnuts and some pecan halves a couple of lemons i want to make some lemon water in the mornings and a big bag of grapes to snack on i'm gonna give these a wash now and get involved all right so i'm gonna make some lunch and then I'm going to sit here and do a load of work. I feel like the day is going fast. It's half past 12 now. And yeah, I was in there a lot longer than I expect. I should have known that I would be in there for ages. But yeah, crossing the road seems to take half an hour in itself. Okay, it's a bit later on. The time is, what time are we at? I think it's just after five o'clock. It's half past five, and what did I do? I fake tanned, <laughs> if you can't tell. I need to rinse this off, that's why it looks so dodgy at the moment. Hopefully it'll be all right. Yeah, I need to rinse that off. I've just had a Zoom meeting, um, and I've also been ironing all my clothes that I need for the rest of this week. So I've got all my outfits lined up, ready to go. 
I've rotated these so much. I've worn all of these on packed lunch and sort your life out. I've got lots of wear out of all of these. I really like these style of like shirt jackets. And I've got a couple of shirts, well actually just one shirt, <laughs> and the rest are all shirt jacket style. And yeah, I'm just gonna rotate, mix and match um, with these trousers. I really need to learn how to iron properly. I'm gonna maybe do a little course. I think I might do an online one or something. That sounds ridiculous, I know, but I just feel like I'm never doing it right whenever I iron. So yeah, that's riveting, isn't it? <laughs> the sun goes down quite early here. I think it goes down at about six o'clock. So what I think I'm gonna do, yeah, I think it's starting to go down now. I'm gonna pop out for a bit because I feel like I wanna get a bit more daylight because I start to feel really sleepy and a tiny bit anxious. And I think that's that, you know, that feeling when you're a bit tired and it makes you feel a bit anxious. I had that and I thought I should have a nap, but then I thought, no, maybe I should try and stay up because I've got dinner at 7.30 and then after dinner, I could just go straight to bed to try and get an early night again, like 9.30 sort of time, hopefully. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. That's better, I feel slightly refreshed now. I've had a shower. It is 7.30 p.m., well, nearly 7.30 p.m., so I'm gonna head down for dinner now. I've gone for black jeans and black boots and this navy blue shirt. Good morning, it is the next day. I am just about to go off to work, so I've just got myself ready. I've got a pair of chinos on, nice fresh t-shirt. I'm gonna put a shirt over the top of it. And dinner last night was lovely. Really nice to meet all of the team, all of the gang, and I'm very excited to get cracking today with this brand new project. And yeah, so busy day ahead. I'm probably gonna have a few busy days ahead. So what I'm probably gonna do is pick up the vlog camera once I've finished the work in hand. And then I think we'll be having a nice day before we fly back. So of course I'll vlog all of that and take you along with me. So yeah, I will see you in a few days. Wish me luck. Hello, it is the next day and you might be able to hear the dishwasher on in the background. So apologies about that. I finished work a little bit early today. So I thought we would make the most of the time and head to target but i'm going to do that in a separate vlog so that will be coming very soon i just wanted to mention it in this vlog so that you know that there is a come shopping in target with me on the way can you tell i'm excited right let's go <laughs> and i'm back from target the time is what is the time i think it's just around 8 p.m or oh, something like that what is it yeah 10 to Eight. I had a great time in Target. I've done it as a separate vlog, as I say. Now I'm back at the hotel. I've changed into my gym kit because I've just had the choreography. Because I've just had the choreography through for the Halloween dance that we're doing for Steph's Pack Lunch next Friday. So a week today. So I've got a week to learn it, but obviously I'm fitting it in with what I'm doing here. So I thought I'm gonna immediately start learning it so that at least, yeah, I've made a start. I don't wanna leave it like homework till the last minute. So I'm gonna do it immediately, have a little go. I've just had a watch of it and it looks tricky. So <laughs> I think I'll need quite a few um, attempts at it to get it learnt and ready for next Friday. So I thought I'll do a bit tonight, just get it to start to go in. And yeah, um, some of you might remember the Halloween dance that we did last year. I was dressed up as a vampire, absolutely loved it. So I'm really excited that we're getting to do it again this year and the dance routine looks brilliant so yeah, I'm gonna crack on with that now and then I've got a tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream I'll just show you that I'll show you everything else that I bought from Target in the um, that's in the other vlog but I really thought this just had to be tasted and I've just given it a little go and it didn't disappoint so this is come on focus <laughs> it is pumpkin cheesecake limited edition I'm not sure if this is available in the UK I didn't see it before I left so yeah that will be my treat after my little dance practice. So yeah, I'm gonna crack on with that now. And then it's gonna be a bit of ice cream and a bit of telly in bed. I am absolutely loving this setup where we've got the <laughs> bed TV situation. I love watching American TV and I particularly love watching American TV in bed. And I think we've just upped the game by watching American TV in bed with a tub of Ben & Jerry. Hello, I forgot in the last time I picked up the camera. So today is Monday and I've just finished up on the job that I'm doing out here and it went really well. I'm really pleased with how everything went. Um, and that's really all I can say on it at the moment, but yeah, it went as well as it could have done. So 
I'm really looking forward to sharing more about that with you very soon. I am incredibly tired <laughs> and I'm incredibly happy that I've got to do this um, and I can't wait to share more about it with you. Um, but yeah, it's been a very full on few days. The time is 25 past eight in the evening and this evening I'm going to go out with a few of the guys that I've been working with and I'm gonna go and head into Nashville and I think we're gonna have a bite to eat and a drink and hopefully not too much of a late night because tomorrow I've got the day free before I travel back so I want to make the most of that too. So yeah, I'm gonna head out for the evening and yeah, and then tomorrow we'll go exploring. But as always, I want to say thank you because it's because of YouTube that I'm getting some of these amazing opportunities. So thank you very much for being here. Thank you for watching my videos. And I'm feeling so fortunate to be able to travel again as well. You know, after the past couple of years, yeah, I feel very fortunate to be here and very fortunate that I'm able to share this experience with you too. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. And yeah, hopefully tomorrow there'll be lots more exciting things for you to see with me. the next day. I had such a fun night out last night. We went to a few different bars, saw lots of live music and finished the evening with a very delicious burger. So I've just come back into Nashville this morning. I've been dropped off. I thought the best place to start actually would be the visitor centre so I can have a look in there and see what's going on, kind of just see what, see what sort of things I want to look at. And the visitor centre is situated on this street, which I think is called Broadway. I'm not entirely sure, but the first thing you notice here is that immediately you can hear live music. There's a bar across the road and there is someone playing live music in that bar and the time is 10 past 11 in the morning. And the other thing I've noticed is that I can smell, so I think it smells quite good, I can smell sausages I think. Up the map. I've got the old school one. The guys in the visitor centre were really helpful and they told me some areas to have a little wander around, so I'm going to go and do that now. Something that they have here is a diagonal crossing, which we don't have too many of in the UK. I think we might have one in Oxford Circus now, if I remember correctly, where it crosses with Regent Street. But this is where Broadway becomes the Honky Tonk Highway. And yeah, so we're going to cross the road and I think we're going to cross it on the diagonal. <laughs> so that should be fun. taking us over to Legends Corner where there's a really cool bit of street art with lots of country music legends here. Got 
Tootsie's Orchid Lounge here. World famous. And it's getting a new coat of paint today by the looks of things. This is the Ryman Auditorium. And you can pause the screen if you want to read more about it. Around the back here we can see all of these beautiful stained glass windows. size of the vehicles here still <laughs> blow my mind. This reminds me of the one that picked me up from the airport and when I got to the hotel I literally fell out of it because it's so high up. We're now in the area that's known as the men's quarter and this is where all the chaps back in the day would come to get their hair cut. This place was meant to be like a classy establishment where you could go in for a trim. So we're now at Printer's Alley which is where I came out for a few drinks last night. It actually gets its name because in 1915 this area had 13 publishers and 10 printers. And during the prohibition this was home to all the speakeasies so people could come here and if they wanted to have a little drink they could brown bag it. <laughs> Having such a nice day I really enjoy exploring new cities especially by foot and just yeah wandering around and taking it all in. And it's quite chilly today. The weather has really turned since I've been out here. We had some really warm days. I feel like they were probably a few of the last warm days that maybe they were having here. I'm not sure, because it was up to about 28, 29 degrees, so really warm. But then yesterday, it got really chilly. So yeah, the weather's definitely on the turn. I wish I'd put <laughs> a warmer coat on. I'm a bit cold. Made it down to the river which is really wide. Got the stadium over there, home of the Tennessee Titans. Oh my goodness, what do we have here? Is this an otter? <gasps> Hello. Wow, I have never seen one of these so close. <laughs> Hello. I wasn't expecting to see any wildlife today, that was cool. And the sun's come out now, which is nice. It's a lot warmer all of a sudden. I'm just taking a stroll down by the river. up to the pedestrian bridge so that we can have a little walk across that and see some views of the city. You can see from here where I just walked along the riverside and this is the start of uh, the Broadway or the Honky Tonk Highway. It's 
absolutely buzzing along this street for a Tuesday afternoon. Yeah, it is all go here. Everywhere you turn, there is music coming from everywhere. see down there the footbridge that I just walked over it has the ramp coming down and so if you walk straight down the street here this will take you onto this green area here which is the country music hall of fame and museum so let's go and have a look So we're pretty much back to where we started. Just over there is the Visitor Information Center. So what I'll do is link in the description box the walking tour that I followed. If you ever come here and you want to do the same, or if you want to read up any more information about the history of some of the places that we've looked at as we went around, that will be in the description box. Now I am hungry, so I'm gonna go and see if I can find somewhere to get a bite to eat. So I've come to the food court and I'm going to try some chicken and waffles which I've been recommended trying here. It's kind of like maybe a local thing, I'm not sure, but it involves waffles and chicken together. And also the hot chicken here is meant to be really good so I've gone for the spicy option. So we'll see what that's like. I've also got a cup as well because here you can fill it up at the fountain. A bit noisy in here but yeah the food's arrived. I really enjoyed that. It was very different, but very tasty. <laughs> right, I'm off to get into an Uber now. We're gonna go shopping. Made it out to one of the retail parks. As you can see behind me, we have the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is actually a separate video, I think, so otherwise this vlog is gonna get incredibly long. So I'll do a come shopping with me where we'll go to Dollar Tree. And I've also spied, there's a few more bits down there. I think there's a Hobby Lobby. And I think there might be a Goodwill quite nearby too. So yeah, we'll have a good look around. So I've just finished up at the Goodwill. I didn't get anything because I wanted to save some room in my suitcase because we're going to go to Bath and Body Works next. But I'm just outside a supermarket called, is it called Murray's? No, that's the name of the cheese. What's it called? Kroger. Is it Kroger? <laughs> you tell me. But um, yeah, I'm outside the supermarket. They've got some lovely cactuses out here. I'm just waiting for my Uber to come to take me down to the Bath and Body Works, which is about an eight minute drive from here. It's turned into a really lovely evening, so just enjoying the sunshine while I stand here and wait. And yeah, we'll be on our way to Bath and Body Works shortly. Made it to a mall called Dillard's. Bath and Body Works is just down there. So I've been heading there for a little look. Actually, there's loads of shops here, so yeah, I might have a browse around the entire shopping mall. <laughs> okay, let's go on in. Got some new new ones in here, sweet kettle corn. That's very nice, really sweet. Mountain teakwood sounds nice. Yeah, that's good. Fall festival. One of my favourite things to do. Oh. And in the UK we really don't have many of these. They've started stocking them in next, I believe, but I think they sell out really quickly. Can't be coming in store and having a good sniff, can you? <laughs> Pumpkin pecan waffles. That looks like it's been popular because there's only two left. That's good. They've got this stress relief section. I had a really lovely hand what do you call it, hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works that might have been from this range, I think. I'm gonna try and find it again, because it was so good. We've got 50% off some of the Halloween stuff by looks of things. Wicked apple. Cool friend. Bath 
by the pottery barn that lots of you have told me to have a look at. So, let's see what's in here. now what time are we on it's half past seven and i've just swung by shake shack on my way back to the hotel got myself a cheeseburger and some chicken bites honestly <laughs> don't judge me i know that today's food has not been the healthiest put the tv on now have some dinner sit on the bed watch a bit of tv and then i'm probably going to just slowly get packed up and get myself ready for my travels tomorrow because i am flying out i think at around midday so I've got a taxi coming at 9.45 in the morning. I would quite like to swing by Walmart first thing to get some last minute bits to take home. I'm gonna see how much room's left in the suitcase once I've packed up this evening. And we might do that in the morning before I depart. And yeah, it's quite a long travel back. So I just wanna kind of rest tonight and chill out a bit because yeah, it's gonna be a two hour flight, two and a half hours I think it's saying, to Chicago. Then I've got about two and a half hour layover and then the eight hour flight back to the UK and then um, that lands at like seven in the morning so hmm and I've got to go straight up to Leeds that evening for packed lunch oh I think I've learned the dance by the way that I've been practicing I was doing it at lunch times um, any minute that I got this week to have a little practice so yeah I think I've finally cracked it I was going through it in my head um, just now in the back of the Uber and yeah I think I can remember it all so Fingers crossed, I might do a bit more practice at the airport while I'm having my layover in Chicago, maybe. <laughs> that could be a way to loosen up um, before the flight. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my dinner now. Got a uh, carry-on. I like this channel, it's all horror movies. <laughs> so I've been watching it mostly this week. Day. I've just got to the airport and when I went to check in or get my boarding pass after what was probably an hour queue, it was literally one person at the check-in desk. They told me that my COVID test was a day out, so I had it like one day early, so it wasn't within the window that I'm allowed to fly with. Slight nightmare. So I'm now at a clinic getting a new COVID test, a rapid one and I've been rebooked onto a flight a little bit later on. So the time is now 1 p.m. and I'm now getting a flight at 20 past three. So yeah, <laughs> it's been quite the trial so far today. Um, and yeah, I'm just waiting for my test results. It takes about 20 minutes. And I swung next door to a Baskin Robbins to get a cappuccino. <laughs> that's the cappuccino. So that's the situation now. I'm just stress drinking this and um, yeah, waiting for my test results managed to check in, I've just made it through security, so I'm very relieved that we've got all of that sorted. I'm just going to swing by the gift shop to see if I can find a fridge magnet, because you know you can't go somewhere this far away without bringing one of them home. While I'm in the lounge, I'm just charging up my laptop and my phone. I like to get on the flight with a full charge on both of those. And although I'll be changing at Chicago, I'll probably have quite a wait there. I like to just make sure they're fully topped up and ready to go. So we're charging here and I've got something to recharge myself as well. <laughs> I swung by the bar here and got a gin and tonic. The gin and tonic tastes different over here. I think it might be because the tonic water tastes different. Yeah, I think that's the reason why. But anyway, I'm not complaining. It's much needed after that kerfuffle. That's the word. <laughs> 
and then in this side of the suitcase I've put in all the breakables. This is pretty much full of candles. I've also got some Christmas ornaments that I will be showing you soon. And then over here I've got my sliders that I'll change into once I'm on the flight and some clean socks and also a sweatshirt. And I've also got my hard drive in there and I just keep all my charging cables and adapter plugs in this pouch. And I've also got my coach backpack with me. I've had this one for a few years now. You may remember if you're from back in the day. I originally wrote about this on my blog so I picked it up at Cheshire Oaks. And yeah, it's lasted me so well. I love using this backpack. In the front here, I just keep some disposable cutlery, which is always really handy when I'm traveling. And then I've got my travel documents organized in here because you do need a lot for this um, travel at the minute. And I've got my vlog camera case, my diary, I've got a little pouch here with things like headphones and pens in it just so I have those to hand. And then my passport and then also the fridge magnet that I've just bought, I want to make sure that's <laughs> safe. And I've also got one of these um, bottles that you can fill up, I've just filled this up at the uh, water fountain here. I always like to fill up my water bottles at the airport rather than buying bottled water. And on the flight they often give you really small amounts of water so I can have this filled up on the flight as well and it keeps it really cool too. And I've got this clear um, container that I use because it's good to get through security. Sometimes they don't let me use it but more often than not they will let me. And in here I've got some pillow spray, I've got sleep spray in there and also a reviving spray by This Works. Both of those are really good. Hand sanitizer and then a few um, face serums I'm going to slap on once I get on the plane. And I've also got my multivitamins. I usually put these in my water. I feel like I need my vitamins at the minute. It is just after 8pm and I'm at Chicago. I've been editing a Come Shopping With Me which will be up soon. I think it'll be already up actually when this goes live. No it won't, it'll be coming soon. <laughs> I've been busy editing that and I'm heading off to board my flight now. It is Friday, so I landed yesterday at, I think it was around 10.30 in the morning, I want to say, and I had to go and get my test done at Heathrow. You have a like test to release, which is quite straightforward. Taxi home, and I slept for about four hours, I think it was, and I had to get up, repack a quick case, and set off to Leeds at 6 p.m. last night, because today <laughs> I'm doing Steph's pack lunch, hence the um, current get up. We've got the Halloween special today, so I've got Halloween bargains. I've just been in makeup. This isn't the um, after flight look, although this is probably <laughs> a better look than how I looked prior to that. And yeah, I've got my pirate costume on, and I'm about to put my boots on. There's lots of bits with this costume. I don't know how to turn the camera around. I'm just vlogging on my phone, because I realized I hadn't ended this vlog and there's all these extra bits. I'm going to go and get these sorted and then go and do the live show. So that will end this vlog here. So I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or just a thumbs up for the, <laughs> the pirate costume. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new here for new videos every single week. And yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you've ever been to Nashville or if you would like to go in the future. And yeah, I will leave this one here, but I've got lots more USA videos on the way for you. Lots of shopping with me's. I'll have a haul for you as well. So lots to look forward to. So do stay tuned for those. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.